Psychiatric illnesses for a long time had been just looked at under the domain of behavioral symptoms, but we have progressed. We are starting to see that it's not just about symptoms and behavior. It's looking at the whole picture. I'm both a psychiatrist and an anthropologist. I'm professor of cell biology, physiology, neuroscience, and psychiatry. I am a general internist. I'm a medical anthropologist. I'm a professor of radiology, and I'm a spectroscopist. My name is Dolores Malaspina, and I founded and direct the INSPIRES program, the Institute for Social and Psychiatric Initiatives here at NYU Bellevue. INSPIRES is a multidisciplinary team, and our conversations really cut across scientific disciplines to try to better arrive at an understanding of severe mental illness and the metabolic diseases that are so closely associated with mental illness. My area of focus is in obesity. And I've been collaborating with Dolores Malaspina on a bunch of projects. And one of the projects was around looking at this more closely in psychiatry. What are psychiatrists doing with regards to weight management counseling? Because we know that a lot of the treatment for obesity can also help with mental health. And a lot of the causes of obesity have to do with someone's mental health status. And so we looked at a data set looking at um, psychiatrists and their counseling of patients around weight management issues and found, like in primary care, that there's a lot of areas for improvement. I've been collaborating with Inspires now for eight, nine years to apply imaging metrics uh, both at what's called ultra high fields, seven Tesla, and at three Tesla to patients with schizophrenia with mission to look for markers for two types of characteristics. One is markers that distinguishes patients with different types of schizophrenia. The technical word is phenotype. Secondary goal is to find markers that change with time when treatment is applied to those patients. Our collaborations with radiology are absolutely crucial to the success of our group. Psychiatry, like other medical fields, is moving to precision medicine. We think that grouping patients by these biomarkers will really allow for a new era of testing and developing different interventions. Genetics is a new uh, component of the INSPIRES program. We embarked on a study uh, a year and a half ago to look for mutations in neurotrophin genes in a set of schizophrenic uh, subjects. And we actually found some very interesting uh, mutations in these genes that suggest that they may be involved at some level in the progression of schizophrenia. For most of these conditions, the genes are telling only a small amount of the story. The more we learn about the genes, the more we see that it's other life course exposures that also influence mental health. The things that people call nature and culture most conventionally are, of course, deeply not only intertwined but co-produced. We shape the environment which shapes the health and illness and the individuality of people and their experiences and the vulnerabilities and resiliences of children, of their families, of their communities, and Inspires has been able to think about what is shaping what then becomes a kind of a health vulnerability. One thing that having Inspires here at NYU has meant for me and for so many other trainees and young psychiatrists has been an environment that really fosters our most creative thinking and it's made an enormous difference for my ability to think in a creative way, an interdisciplinary way, to think outside of the received wisdom about psychiatric problems and the way that they develop and to find new solutions that draw from well outside of psychiatry.
in unexpected ways. It's very exciting to sit around the table, um, to present work and to hear feedback from very different perspectives. It's that cross-talk that really invigorates progress and working across boundaries.